Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to easily add localization to your game in Godot 4.2. Let's get started. Now I prepared a project which has a label and a button and when we click this button we would like this label to change to Spanish. Let's see how we would do that. Okay, let's just go to our button and create a new script on it. Let's just call it button.gd. Okay, we don't need this piece of code. We just need, let's say, an array of languages. So var languages, which is an array of string. And this has to be equal to en for English and es for Espanol. Okay. And uh, we want to basically uh, rotate through these languages and when we press the button to change those languages. So I'm just going to connect with on button up, just connect it to our current button. And basically when the button is no longer pressed, we want to change the language. Now I'm just going to make a function here. Let's call it func change language. And let's say uh, as a parameter, a language which is a string and this is going to return void and for now let's just pass because we do not really know how to change this language so what i'm going to do i'm going to call this function so change language and which language do i want well let's say that we want to select the next language so let's have a variable called next language index which is going to be an integer and it's going to be equal to one because we want the next language to, to be Spanish. And let's just say that we want to get languages of next language index. And in order to make sure that we do not um, get out of the array bounds, let's just say that next language index is equal to next language index plus one modulo languages dot size. Okay, now let's see how we actually change these languages and how we actually add different languages that we can use in our project. I'm going to go to project, project settings and to localization and pot generation. Now here I can add the scenes that I want to detect languages from. So I'm going to add the main scene. Let's click open. And we can now generate a pot, which is basically a template file. Now I have here a localization folder and let's call it template.pot. Now we won't be able to see it from here, but if I were to go into the directory of our project to localization, you see here that we have a template.pot file. Now I can open this with code and I can basically take a look and see here that we have basically detected that we have a message called hello there and we have a message called change language. Now we have detected those as message IDs and we want to translate those message IDs as something. Now let's see how we do that. Of course, we could just take this template and transform it into some other translation, but there are programs who help us doing that more easily. And one such program is Poedit. With Poedit, I can basically create a new translation from a pot template. So I'm going to just click on create new and select template.pot, open it. And you see that now I can select the language for the translation. Now I want to translate it in Spanish, but I also want to have the equivalent translation for English. So let's just go with English first because it's a bit easier. Okay, now we have here the text hello there, and we would like to translate it to something else. Now, in order to be more organized and to more easily detect what we have in this source text, we are going to go back to our Godot file. And here, instead of having hello there and change language, let's just add some IDs. So instead of hello there, let's just say that this is going to be the ID for hello. And here at the bottom, instead of change language, let's just say this is language. Okay, now we can save this. We can go back to our project settings. We generate again the pod for the main TSCN, save. And yeah, we overwrite it. And now if we open this again with poedit, 
we see that the source text ID is now hello and language. Okay, now if I were to create a new translation for English, now I can actually translate the text from this ID into hello there. And I can translate this text from language into select language. Okay, I can save and it's gonna save a en.po file and I can save it here in the localization. Let's just click save. And now if I go back to my project, I can go to translations. Now here at translations, I'm gonna simply click add, select localization, and we have this en.po generated. Let's just add this file and let's close. Now you see here, we still have the IDs hello and language, but if I were to actually run this project, the actual values are the translated values of hello there and select language. Now, what if we also wanted to add the Spanish translation? For this, again, we could go to our template.pot, double click on it, and let's just create a new translation. And this time, let's say it's Spanish. And I don't really know Spanish, so if there are any Spanish speakers, please, <laughs> please forgive me for this, but I am gonna use Google Translate to get some translations. And for hello there, I'm going to simply write hola. And for select language, Google Translate is telling me that it's this. So hopefully it is this. I'm going to click save and save it as es.po. Okay, now that we have saved it as such, we can go back to our Godot program and we click F5 and you will see that nothing happens because we currently have set the English translation. Now, how do we select the Spanish translations? Well, for that, we have to go to our button script and here in our change language function, we are simply going to say translation server dot set locally to the language. And this lang is going to be either en or es. Now what's left to do is to go to project settings and to also add the Spanish translation. So let's go to add and let's just select es.po open and close. And if I press F5 right now, we're gonna click here and we see that our text changed to hola and to, sorry, I can't pronounce this, <laughs> but yeah, the text changes in English and in Spanish and English and Spanish again. Okay, this is great. Now, one thing you might have noticed is that I have three other nodes here. So what are those for? Let's just hide the label for now and let's open these nodes. These are just some custom nodes, which take as a parameter a texture and a text to basically make a character which speaks through a text bubble. So you'll see my computer has the best password and we'll see about that. Okay, now I noticed that in this version, in Godot 4.2, there is a slight problem. What's the problem? Well, if I were to, for example, go here and just say that this text is has the ID computer, and let's go here and let's say that this text has the ID C, okay? We have written down this text and now we can go to project settings and as before, we would go to pot generation, select our main scene and click generate pot. And let's just overwrite this current template. We overwrote the template, but now if we were to open this template, you see that it still only has hello and language. Now I have written down an issue about this and apparently this looks like it is no longer going to be a problem in 4.3, but until then there is a workaround which we can do to fix this. So I could either go to template.pot or to es.po. For example, maybe we already have the translations for es.po and we do not want to lose those. So see here we have hello, hola and language something. And if we want to add more translations, how I said for computer and for C, we can simply just copy this and paste it below. And let's just say here that this is computer and this is going to be C. And I understood that the translation for 
computer is gonna be this and we'll see about that is this okay i can save this now if i were to press f5 you would see that obviously these english ids are not changed because we did not modify the en.po file but if i change to spanish you see that the language is now changed now it might depend some languages have these little different letters and uh, if we want to include those we have to be careful about the font that we're using and this is the reason for which i have added this change language to another function because here we might also want to add some functionality to change the font and some many other functionalities so each language has its own little quirks so we have to be careful about that but the main idea for changing the language is what you see here basically just tell the translation server to set the locale and edit those language files to have the proper language for your given ids but yeah that is kind of it if you feel like this helped you please leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll be really happy to answer them see ya